Hi, today I will show you how to deploy an application in auto scaling group with EC2 instance. So let's start with the first step. The first step is we will create a auto scaling group with EC2. So open your AWS console management, go to the EC2. Scroll down, launch configurations, create launch configurations, select your operating system. So I will go with the window. Type as instance, T2 micro is okay for me. The configuration name. Demo auto scaling configuration role. So we need to create a role for the auto scaling. Here we can give the permission to our instance. So just open the new tab, go to IAM, select the role and create role. So we will create uh, create a role for EC2. Next permissions, create policies. Now we will choose policy. We will not create a new policy because all policies are already created. Here, auto scaling. We will search auto scaling. Auto scaling full access. Sorry, we will select it and tag. Next, here we will give the role name. The role name will be the EC2 AWS code deploy role. Create role. Our role is created now, so let's go to the auto scaling and select the role EC2. AWS code deploy role. Add storage. 30 GB is enough. There is nothing to change. Review. Create launch configuration. We will select the key or we will generate the new key. So it's better I will create a new key. Here I will give the name Atos scaling key download the key save the file I will save my file here in the C auto scaling key I will save here my M file create and launch configurations it's done now the next step is click on create an auto scaling group here Demo auto scaling group subnet choose your subnet network is the default and config keep this group at the initial size next tag review nothing need to change create auto scaling group and close. Just we need to wait few minutes until it's successfully done. Here we can see that our one instance is showing here in the instance tab. Life cycle is pending. So it will be in service soon. It's in the process. You can go to the instance It's still in the initializing mode, so we need to wait just a few minutes, so it will be done soon. <coughs> Sorry.
just wait only few minutes so it will be okay let's go to the next step after the creating this we need to make some changing in our server so there is some powershell command we will do that like we will install the code deploy agent in our instance with this command first we will create a directory then we will install the agent in the directory we just download and then we will install our instance is still initializing mode here we can see that our instance is running now and the status is ok so we will connect the instance get the password for the password we will need to select the key so our key is downloaded in the local disk C auto scaling folder here is the key open it decrypt the password and copy the password so we will download the remote file and open with the remote desktop application it's open now just connect it We will give the password. Okay. And allow the access. Yeah. So here we access our server. We will just minimize this one and then the half tab I will open the browser or our documentation so we need to give, make some changing in our we will install the code deploy agent in the instance so open the powershell powershell here open your documentation first we will create a new directory in our server here we will oh, sorry I just paste the two time a new directory the temp folder is created so we will download our code deploy agent Oh sorry, we need to change the bucket name. This one. So we will select a demo bucket. So open the notepad in the server and we will copy paste the files here. We just copy the all command. And uh, open notepad here. here the bucket name we need to change this name as per our s3 bucket or uh, we will select a demo bucket so the demo bucket name will be we are using the 
east one so aws course code deploy dot us east two we will copy it and paste it here as per your region i am using the east one region So now I will copy the command. We just run the command now and just wait. The file is downloaded now in the temp folder before we created the temp folder so just go to the temp in the c drive there is one folder temp code deploy agent we just run this application is taking time because the spec of this server is not so high yeah it's done now so let's check one time here get services get service code deploy agent the service is running now let's go to the AWS console and our next step is the we will deploy an application in the code deploy we will create an application go to the AWS management console code deploy in the applications create application application name will be the demo auto scaling app platform will be the ec2 one princess create application application is created now next step is the create deployment group Create deployment group will be the demo auto scaling deploy group. Enter the service service role AWS code deploy role before we created now. And uh, in place no need to change Amazon EC2 auto scaling group. Here we will select our group demo auto scaling group. The group is selected now. Code deploy default one at a time. We will uncheck the load balancer. Create deployment group. So now we will the we will click on the create deployment. Here we will give the address of our application. So for now we are just making a demo so i will use a demo application is it it's mentioned here for your instance window instance applications are here and the for the linux and the ubuntu the application links are here so i will select this one as per my instance is in the us east so i just copy the this address from the documentation and paste it here zip file is automatically and create deployment the status is in progress so we just need to wait two or three minutes so application will be deploy
it's still in the progress so just wait it will done soon we can see that it's successfully done now so let's go to the your instance ec2 in the instance just copy your dns public name and paste in the browser so it's not accessing the application for this we need to allow the inbound traffic go to the auto scaling group inbound add it add a rule for the https save and add it one rule for the http save the http and https rules are created now so just go to the instance select your instance and copy the public dns name in the browser let's try with the ip address just refresh the instance just well, one more time check the code deployment application go to the code deploy application it's done so in the services ec2 running instance copy the dns name https there is problem in the inbound traffic at a scaling group inbound yeah this one http sources we need to access for the all edit add rule for the http and save so go to the your instance copy the public dns name open new tab here we can see that our application is deployed now so let's move to the next step next we check your result so we check our results so it's working very well even with the public dns name we will try with the public ip address it's working 
the next step is increase the ac2 instance for this one we need to go on the auto scaling group code so go to the auto scaling group action edit here we can increase the instance we can write it 3 2 3 as per we want as per the traffic or the of our application so currently i will use only one so it's depend on you how much instance you want save it the next step is clean up so we will clean up we will delete all resources group application what we created so first of all we will go to the application in the services code deploy application open the application and delete type delete our application is deleted now the next step is we will delete the group the auto scaling group in the EC2 instance scroll down select the auto scaling group action delete yes delete and the auto scaling configuration launch and configuration we will delete it also yes delete here we can see that in our instance our instance is shutting down or it will be terminated that's it thank you so much